I have four amp probes set up in this sub panel so we can see what will happen when we don't separate the grounds and neutrals properly. Sub panel, it's a little messy because I do a lot of experiments in it, but now I have four amp probes set up. We have 18 on A leg, 31 on B leg for the imbalance on the neutral and nothing on the ground because the bonding screw is removed. What happens when you put that in? All right, I have the bonding screw started but not tightened down yet. Watch all the readings when I tighten it down. Stays here at 31, but the current that was using the neutral is split between neutral and ground. So now the bonding screw is removed. Everything appears to be running normally again, but I have one equipment ground floating. What would happen if I land that equipment ground with the neutrals instead of on the ground bar? Here we go, watch the neutral and ground current. When I connected, now. Now we have amperage or current on the ground again. Sometimes this screw goes in, sometimes it doesn't. Do not make any changes to your panel because of what you saw in this video. A professional has to decide whether or not this screw belongs in your panel because it belongs in main panels but not sub panels. But sub, sometimes even a sub panel will need it if it's older code. All right, thanks. If you're an apprentice struggling to understand this rule, the way I explain it is, think of the sub panel as a junction box with circuit breakers in it. And we always separate grounds and neutrals in junction boxes. Thanks.